There are millions and millions of people logging in every single day to play Fortnite, but that's not to say that it's perfect. In fact, there are tons of things about this Battle Royale game that even its biggest fans do not like. In the comment section right now, tell me one thing that you just can't stand about Fortnite Battle Royale, even though you really, really enjoy the game. What is up, everybody? Chaos here. Welcome to Chaos Top Tens, and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 things that basically every Fortnite player hates. Let's get started. At number 10, no controller button mapping. Kicking off our list is a feature that has been on the PC ever since the launch, but the console players have yet to actually get this. The console version of Fortnite has a good amount of button layouts for you to experiment with and find your favorite with the Builder Pro and the Combat Pro, all that stuff. But as of the recording of this video, there is no way to just make a custom button layout with the controller the way you can with a mouse or a keyboard on PC. Many players have been begging Epic Games for a controller button mapping option, and I believe they're actually working on it right now, but as of the recording of this video, it's not in the game, and people are getting a little desperate and a little salty about it not being available. At number nine, and you can add me to this list, the rocket nerf. That's right. We have all the nerfs that have been hitting the rocket ammo over the last few weeks. Epic Games has slowly but surely nerfed the absolute fire out of the rocket drop rates. And it's gotten to the point that it's almost unviable to carry RPGs or grenade launchers because of how quickly you burn through the ammo and how far it is to actually find more. Plus, Epic Games also recently changed the inventory system so you can now only carry a maximum of 12 reserve rockets, making it even harder to use the grenade launcher in the RPGs effectively. I hate explosive spamming as much as the next person, don't get me wrong, but I think Epic may have gone a little too far with all the rocket nerfs recently, and if the rocket or the grenade launcher are harder to find, then you should be able to use them viably when you have them. I think the issue was the drop rate was a little too high and everybody was running them. At number eight, small lobbies. Now, small lobbies are a pretty rare occurrence, but they do happen from time to time when the servers are acting up or a bunch of people randomly leave after the initial match countdown starts. Actually happened to me the other day and I got in a lobby, a full lobby was 51 people. Now, generally speaking, a Fortnite game will start when there are at least 92 or 93 people in the lobby, but every once in a while, you'll get a game that starts with 80 something or even less. Like I said, 51 people. It doesn't sound like a huge drop, but it is super noticeable once you touch down and you start looting. Fortnite is a pretty fast paced game because of the small map and the large lobby size. So when the match starts with way less than the intended amount, you instantly take notice in it. And honestly, I think it makes the game way less fun. Some, some people may argue the other way and say, oh, I get all the loot to myself. But yeah, you're running around this massive map and there's only 51 people out of the gate. You probably won't even see anybody till the very, very end. At number seven, drop a like if this has ever happened to you or if you've ever done this to somebody. Getting impulsed off of a cliff. Most players have kind of a love-hate relationship with impulse grenades. On one hand, they're a ton of fun to use and they're extremely helpful for pushing an enemy, escaping a situation, or just blasting someone away from you. But on the other hand, they're probably the most annoying thing in the entire game to get killed by and that is why they got a spot on this list today. Perhaps the most annoying and most frustrating way to get killed in Fortnite is when someone drops an impulse grenade at your feet and blasts you off the side of a mountain. It's frustrating because the other person just got the kill on you without having to outbuild you or outshoot you or outmaneuver you. They just had to have a good th grenade throw and in a single move, they won the fight. But like I said, killing someone in this exact way is probably one of the most fun things to do in the entire game. So I guess glass is half full, glass is half empty. I'll let you guys decide. At number six, missing something they wanted in the shop. This has happened to me multiple times. Fortnite's business model is super fair for everybody and that's why a lot of people love it. On the, but there is one bad thing that comes from it when you don't play for a day or two and then you come back to everybody using emotes that you weren't able to get. Because of the game limits all the emotes and the cosmetic items 24 hours at a time, it creates this sense of urgency in the players to buy them, which increases sales, but it also gets frustrating because it destroys all chances of anyone else getting them for weeks and weeks until they get added for another day, which is completely random. I love that the item shop is the replacement for the actual price of the game, but it's super annoying to miss something you really, really wanted, and then you have to wait a long time before you ever get the chance to buy it again, and then you wait, and then you just happen to not be by your PS4 console, PC, whatever, and then you miss it again. 
This month's giveaway is for a new PlayStation 4 console. All you have to do to enter is drop a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload. And in the comment section, let me know why you want to win the PS4 and include your Twitter handle so I can contact you if you're the winner. The winner will be announced at the end of the month. Cracking into the top five today, shopping cart uncertainty. It's kind of become a meme in the Fortnite community how often Epic has pulled the shopping carts out of the game. How many times has it been now? Three or four? The shopping carts were first added a few weeks back, but have been removed multiple times due to vague issues that Epic Games has refused to actually explain. And it's gotten to the point that you never really know if the shopping cart will ever be in the game when you go to turn it on. Plus, since Epic Games hasn't actually explained what the problem is with the carts, it's just gotten kind of annoying at this point that there's a really awesome item in the game that just keeps disappearing for reasons we'll never know. Now, hopefully, they'll figure out the issue soon and put the shopping carts back in for the good amount of time that they're supposed to. Then again, we do have the golf carts now, so maybe the shopping carts are going to get phased out altogether. Moving on to number four today, how about day one of new challenges? Now, I love the Battle Pass challenges as much as the next person, as it helps you get cool items and V-Bucks pretty quickly, but I know I'm not the only one who absolutely despises and hates and dreads the first day or two after new challenges come out. There are almost always challenges to open chests in a certain location and get eliminations in another location, and that always means those locations are going to be crawling with enemies, trying to get the challenges done for the next couple days. Now, I love the challenge system, but location-specific challenges totally break the flow of the gameplay for the first few days after they come out. Hopefully, Epic can figure out a way to not do location-specific challenges anymore because they do. They seriously screw with the pacing of the game. At number three, getting stuck in doorways. This one is super frustrating. Due to some kind of weird interaction between the game's engine and certain walls, sometimes your character will just get stuck in place when going through a doorway or trying to walk past a certain structure, which often leads to you getting shot and sometimes even killed. Epic has been pretty good about fixing these invisible wall glitches and barriers pretty quickly, but it seems that every few days, a new one is discovered and actually has to be patched out. Now, I honestly have no idea what exactly it is that causes an invisible wall to occur, but it's super frustrating and hopefully Epic figures out a permanent fix sooner rather than later. Speaking of walls at number two, let's talk about the whole wall phasing thing that I know everybody is familiar with. Because of the way building works in Fortnite, Newly built structures don't actually load in a hitbox until there's nothing obstructing them. Meaning, if you try to build a ramp, but there is someone standing in the middle of it, the ramp will not actually form a hitbox until that person gets on one side or the other. This prevents people from getting warped around during build fights, but it's also unfortunately creating the opportunity for people to phase through walls when they are first placed down on the map. It's kind of a necessary evil, I understand that, that the building system works this way, because really what other option is there? But that is not to say that it is not super frustrating when someone jumps through your wall and shotguns you square in the face. <coughs> and finally, on today's list is, it's one word, people, Sony. Sony is really messing up right now. First, they did all the crazy stuff with Black Ops 4 pre-orders and the Back to Black DLC that people were angry about. And now, they're actively fighting the gaming community's desires for cross-play in Fortnite and Minecraft and Rocket League and Paladins. Sony has really been pissing people off with just how insanely anti-consumer they have been regarding this whole concept of cross-play. They've also made it no secret that they are the sole reason why PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players haven't been able to play together, despite the fact that Epic Games has the feature totally developed and ready to be turned on. Now, hopefully all the community backlash Sony has been getting manages to snap them out of it and they allow full cross-play on the PlayStation 4. Gamers want to play together. And the fact that Sony is preventing it for the sake of a few extra sales is just lame. Now, their CEO has came out in the, in the past and said they are looking at it. They're trying to figure it out, but it's really simple. Just make it happen like every other platform has. And there you have it, my friends. Those are 10 things that every Fortnite player hates. In the comment section, you let me know which one of these just chaps you the wrong way. Which one of these, even though you love the game, you just wish would go away or be fixed permanently. If you guys enjoyed the video, take a second, drop a like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, turn on those notifications so you never miss an upload, and I'll see you guys soon.